Hey church, it is great to be with you today for our daily SOAP. SOAP stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. So I hope that you are doing your daily SOAP with us. Today we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 26 through 40. Now I want to tell you, this is some, some challenging pieces of Scripture because it talks about uh, worship in the church. And what we're seeing here is where Paul is telling people, because he wrote uh, the book, uh, Paul did on the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he's talking about orderly worship. Now, when we read this section of text, we always have to remember culture and context. Culture and context, because this is the section of Scripture where it talks about women should be silent in church and people who should speak in tongues and how it's interpreted and this and that. But we have to remember that Scripture always has layers to it. One of those layers is Paul is addressing a specific problem in the Corinthian church. So when we read it today, when it says that women should be quiet in church, we don't, we don't have to apply that directly to our situation because he was dealing specifically with the church in that particular passage. Always remember, it's context and culture. So just get that straight. But the gist of it is this. It says, uh, verse 26, what then shall we say, brothers and sisters, when you come together, each of you as a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation or a tongue or an interpretation, everything must be done so that the church may be built up. That is in verse 26, and you can read 26 through 40. But it basically is saying that whatever spiritual gift that you have, you should bring it to church. Because if you don't bring your gift to church and use it amongst the body of believers, that's one gift that will never be seen. You have a gift. Use it for the glory of God and use it in the formation of the church. In other words, in making disciples, use your gift. That is our daily soap. Pray about that and ask yourself, think about this, how am I using my gift for the glory of God in my local church? Blessings on you.